switched to the pocket knife because it made it a little bit easier. This one I'm the most proud of. It looks the best. But now it's time to start cooking. For the internals. Yeah, I've decided to go to the gym. Just made my lunch, just prep, made it so I can microwave it at the gym. The weather's been shit in Melbourne the last few days, and now it's picked up again today. It's good to get a bit of sun in the skin. The story of how I got started in the gym was when I was younger, about 10 years old, we went on a holiday to Rosebud, a nice um, beach location. We stayed in a cottage with the family and some other friends as well. And eventually we went to Kmart and I bought a, my first uh, dumbbell. I remember it was on special. So that, that was the, when, when I first started training. And for me, the bugs being like Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'd have to say, is inspired me to start bodybuilding on and off through my throughout my life going to many different gyms to the one i am at now and i tend to go to two gyms in uh, pakenham and frankston the frankston one's really tiny but the, the franks the, the, the pakenham one that one's much bigger and it's got more machines but it can also get very packed there during busy hours like in the late afternoon it tends to be busy about around around four to six o'clock it's very busy and it's hard to get a machine sometimes you, you, you can't you go walk to a machine and it's taken and you walk to another machine and then that's taken and it becomes a bit annoying when it's too busy another gym's pretty small so that can get busy pretty easy so i like to train at both it's it sort of each gym's got different equipment so since doing these vlogs i'm starting to lift my game want to take it a bit more seriously you got to realize that you go on all that trouble to go to the gym that you want to do a good workout it's normally just means when you each uh workout you're doing on each different machine each dumbbell each whatever that you just push that a little bit further take a deep breath and make sure you're breathing correctly and just go nuts get, get a good pump and, and you also can walk out and you feel better that you you know that you did a really good workout you feel good like if, if you have a really bad workout, you know you feel guilty. And I, I, I've noticed like when I'm really gonna have a good, like when I've had a really bad workout, I've gone to the gym and I've just had a, a nap before I've trained, just before I walked in. And you just know that, that day you're gonna be pretty tired, haven't slept well or you run down or sick or something. That those days are the toughest days, but I've learned a shit workout's better than no workout. You just gotta push through. Just about to get to the gym today and do a back, shoulder, and abs workout today. Feel pumped, feel, feels good to, to the sun's out, get a bit of vitamin D, and I'm train hard today. It's 1.30, I'm about to eat my lunch. Had a killer workout, trained hard, did everything. In the end, like the, the last like half an hour, I was there for about two hours. 
my, 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 I started to feel a bit tired and needed a break. I had heaps of energy when I walked in, in there. I don't know, just sometimes you fizzle out. I think I needed more food or something. So, sometimes like I find like if I train for a long time, that helps me a lot. So if I, so, but you don't always have time. Cause you want to do other things. I've never been here before. I might try the, the Frankston swim pools up, see what it's like. I normally go to the one in Bentley, uh, GSAC, G-E-S-A-C. It's a pretty good one there. It, I like the spa there. But once you've been to the spa, it's like 20 person spa and powerful jets here. You know, nothing's as good as that one, but I'll have to see what this spa's like. Yeah, the, the pools are alright there, just some of the spa jets weren't very powerful. I had to wait to, a little bit of time to get a good one. It was pretty good. It didn't cost that much, it was a bit cheaper than the, the swimming pools I normally go to, which wasn't too bad. I've, I've learned one thing right now, I want to, like, a new, a new thing for me is doing these vlogs. I, I want to, like, I'm starting to realise, like, like, you want to live more new experiences. You don't want to replay the same experience all the time. Life at the end of the day, the, the meaning of life is just experiences. Nearly home, just about to have some dinner. Spaghetti for dinner with some chili sauce. Squeaky. Having a hot chocolate and just gonna watch some YouTube and relax. For a bit. Last meal time. What we've got here is a wholemeal pita bread with lettuce, two eggs, lentils, some steak, tomatoes, jalapenos. I've got some burger sauce. Yum, yum. This is kind of like an eel, this is. The bread's still a bit soft. Yum yum. <laughs> <laughs>